Retro. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing video with your host, JD, on Everything's Retro. Today, it is that time of the month. It's the beginning of the month, which means we got Video Games Monthly. It is here, and I'm ready to excitingly open this up. Um, overall, luck with this box it has been fantastic. Uh, value wise, it's been over over ninety bucks. Uh, I get a ten game pack. It's like three, five, I think eight, and then ten games. I can't remember the exact. It'll be somewhere on, on the screen here for you. Um, but I do get to ten pack. Um, it's with that's with shipping and everything. It's like ninety bucks out the door. Um, and like I said, so far it's been great. It, it's it's honestly been really really good. It's it's a monthly subscription box. If you don't know what it is, uh, features everywhere from um the good old like super atari games to uh to wii u uh i get games for nintendo 64 sega dreamcast i got yeah, yeah dreamcast not <laughs> gamecube uh super nintendo and sega genesis uh man sorry it's one of them days i'm too excited see got this box coming in um but uh yeah you know what enough enough yabbering i love yabbering so uh let's get started let's get this thing open um, I just walked down to my post box and I was like, oh snap, it's here. And it looks like it's got a little bit of vault, which I'll take. Like I said, so far, um, this box has been nothing but really good uh, for me. Um, we got a little bit of vault, I like that. So, tell here, it's got a little bit of vault. So that's a good, that's a good sign, really good sign. Um, Cartridges, I do love my cartridges. So, uh, as always, we'll do it blind. Uh, let's hope. I've been on a streak of not getting any sort of one-ups. You can get, the cool thing about this box too is you have the potential of getting an extra game to two extra games to three extra games to like this super specialty box, which is, I, I've, I've seen videos of it, but I've uh, never gotten it, which I'm fine with. I mean, it's cool. Um, but I usually get one-ups, but lately I haven't, so. Uh, Nami's excited, so um, yeah, let's get let's get going. On. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So let's get the paperwork and stuff out of the way first. Uh, so first things first, we have a business card. This is for them. You, if you take a picture of your box, put it on Facebook, you possibly win three games. I never have, never seen anybody win it either. Um, so this is cool. They usually sometimes just add some like little stuff in. Um, this is, looks like it's a Super Blood Hockey. I'm a huge hockey fan. It looks like it's for a Switch. Uh, I guess it's sort of like a limited run kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'll look into it. See what it's all about. Uh, all right, cool. And their business card just says, hey, make sure you update your library because uh, if you don't, they'll send you doubles. And trust me, they definitely will. Uh, that's the downfall about video retro video games. If you don't update your stuff, you're probably going to get doubles. Uh, I got an looks like the trinket um oh cool okay this is this little pouch is cool um it's a microfiber towel so i'm not going to take it out because i don't want to get it dirty um but yeah this definitely comes in handy especially when you get to like this this based games or even like cleaning your sunglasses and stuff so i'll actually probably put that in the car that's pretty cool not too bad all right um unfortunately looks like again i didn't get no one up so that's uh i'm kind of expecting that from now on so all right so first things first Let's get started. Um, this is definitely a Nintendo 64 game. And the back is absolutely ravaged. That sucks. Uh, I'm a big stickler for like, like quality, I guess you could say. Um, let's hope to God this game's good. All right, let's ready. Ready, two, three. All right, Cruising USA. Yeah, this is a pretty good game, but it is fucking annihilated. Um, very faded. It looks like someone decided to poking this uh or crease i mean the disc itself we clean up but and i don't have it for my collection so i mean i'm happy for sure to have it uh, i played this in the arcade a ton as a kid uh and i still love playing it if i see it um so i mean i'm gonna add it to my collection but am i gonna look for something like a lot better quality hell yeah but still great great pickup i mean i can't complain it's a game that i don't have so i'll take it um next Yo, it looks like we're, we're getting two for two for Nintendo 64 games. All right. Oh, whoops. Oh, all right. Torok, uh, Dinosaur Hunter. Again, quality is shit. Another one. <laughs> um, you know, 
that sucks. Like, I mean, the, like the outside of this stuff can be cleaned up and like, but like that sucks. As the front label is good, I'm cool with it. But like, sorry, my cat is fucking going nuts over this thing. Um, and the back label is a mess. Like, it's better than the last game, but it's still a train wreck. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't have it. Again, it's great to have the collection. <laughs> That's cool. Someone already labeled it for me. Um, am I going to look for a better one? Yeah, of course. Uh, for sure I am. But it's still a great game. It really is. Uh, I got the second one in, I think, one of these boxes or the other monthly subscription box. Uh, so, I mean, it's definitely cool. It's more Nintendo 64 games, the better. I am trying to do a collect complete collection. So... Uh, two overall, like gameplay wise, great games. So I'm happy uh, for sure. And next, Sega Genesis. Uh, I love me some Sega Genesis. So, see, so we got Toy Story for the Sega Genesis. Oh, see, this one's not bad. This is in pretty like, decent on. condition. Top's a little, you know, starting to come off with some little wear and tear, but that's okay. Um, I haven't played Toy Story before. Uh, I've seen videos of it, it looks pretty cool. Um, you know, Disney games in this era were actually surprisingly really, really well compared to like nowadays where they're crap. Um, but, uh, Toy Story, it's a good, it's a good one. Don't have it again. Uh, so pretty cool. It's a good, good, good add to the collection. I'll take it. I will take it. All right. So let's keep going here. We'll go to the other side of the thing. Another Sega Genesis game. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, claim. That's a good sign. All right, let's do it. Little wear and tear, but nothing crazy. Great condition. Yo, Mortal Kombat. Hell yeah. So, you know, this is in good condition. This is in really good condition, actually. You know, a little faded, but nothing crazy. Uh, the game is super old, so what do you expect? But um, I own all of them for the Super Nintendo. Um, I actually got a super score on one of my last unboxing videos, so make sure to check it out. Uh, of a $33 uh, Mortal, Ultimate Mortal Kombat for Super Nintendo. But uh, what sets this, was it, this sets this version apart from the Super Nintendo is actually this one has blood. Uh, Super Nintendo doesn't. Uh, so Nintendo, you know, is all about like family friendly stuff. And uh, they didn't like that whenever <laughs> they, they ported, ported it to the systems. But Sega was like, screw it, I'm doing it. Uh, put in the blood code though, obviously. So uh, great get, I'll take it for sure. All right, next. We've got ourselves a Super Nintendo game. This this back looks like it's a repop, for real. Like, I know it's hard to, to see here sometimes. This definitely feels like a repop case. All right, well, let's do it. Scooby-Doo Mystery. Hmm. I have never played this before. Uh, overall, this is in pretty good shape, actually. Um, it's super light. Like this card is super light. There's not much, probably not much to this game. Uh, 1995, Hanna Barbera. So yeah, I've never played this before, but I mean, you know, heck, I'm a fan of Scooby Doo. I watched it as a kid all the time when I was a kid. Uh, so yeah. All right, cool. So I mean, not too bad. We're halfway through the box. Um, again, the only two issues I have are two, um, you know, quality issues, but that's fine. I mean, it's what it is. Uh, I'm gonna save this for last because they the only downfall so there's something that I felt in here and we'll talk about it whenever it comes in but let's let's skip that let's go to this uh, a good old back uh, you know another Super Nintendo game but the back is shit another one uh, which sucks but let's hope let's hope to God the front label is better so cross your fingers let's see what we got yo Spider Man X Men hell yeah <gasps> all right yeah the, it's <laughs> it's an SJN game LJN game so it's probably shit um, but like quality is really really good um so yeah dude there's my boy so the, uh my boy gambit's my favorite it's my favorite x-men character uh leave a comment down below so that, that brings up a great thing you know gambit's my favorite x-men character uh character um what's yours you know what who is your favorite x-men or even you know let's go as far as marvel uh who's your favorite marvel character you know leave that comment down below and let me know if you're if you're you know on the good side or the bad side of Marvel, I'm curious to see. I'm curious to hear everybody's things. So this is a great game. I'm excited to play this actually. Super excited. Alright. Let's dig into it. Here we go. Another one. Sega Genesis game. Uh again, not too bad. Sega's I, Sega games have had some pretty good luck with uh, when it comes to like overall if it's good or not. So let's see, we got Echo the Dolphin, the first one. I have the second one, but the front of this is ravaged. 
Oh, that sucks. That sucks really bad, actually. Because uh, it's a good game. And like I said, I have the second one. Um, man, that sucks. Uh, but that's okay. You know what? Uh, again, this is one of those games that, like, it's it's a super common game, to be honest with you. Um, I can definitely go find a better version of this. Uh, probably at a yard show or something. Um, but, um, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It sucks, though. Man, I'll put on the, sh the, F the messed up label side of this. Um, all right. So we got three games. Three games left. We're going to go with this. We got another Sega game. It's a Konami. Oh, I don't know if you can see that stuff. So this could be really good if it's a Konami game. Let's see what we got. Yo, okay. Tiny Toon Adventures. Buster's Hidden Treasure. Uh, again, some wear and tear, uh, but not too bad, I guess. Um, yo, I used to watch this shit <laughs> when I was a kid. It was such a good, such a fun show to watch. Um, but man, that sucks. That sucks. They, they just don't care about like quality, Bruh. like at all. And that, 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 it, it upsets me. It sucks. Um, but all right, you know, Hey, I'll play it. We'll see. We'll see what the hell, how this is. I've never played it. So I'm, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm excited to add it for a collection on it. And honestly, I might, I don't know, I'm thinking about taking away some of the, like switching up my preferences next month. We'll see. Um, but this is a reason why I'm probably going to maybe switch up my preferences. So I know for a fact that this is a GameCube game. Um, this is what I hate. So again, like I said, I talked before, I am stickler for um, quality. I mean, I'd rather have a good quality at least. Um, and I hate getting like games like this. I hate it. And this is like, I regretted, I kind of regret putting it, putting a disc game, a disc based system on this. Cause I've seen them do this a lot to other people, but not as much as like every box that I've gotten a, a, a game in for this. I've gotten one like this. So hopefully it's a good game. I mean, I bought uh, like replacement cases online. So I have a case for it and I'll just print out the, um, I'll print out the artwork online. I have a really great printer that I can use, but it's still the same, you know, having that original case. So, and I get it. It's tougher. GameCube games are a lot harder to get. So, uh, let's see what we got. Sonic Mega Collection. Okay. So see, this is even worse. Uh, this game, I am super pumped to play. I'm a huge Sonic fan. Uh, I always have been since Sega. Um, I knew this has like a bunch of the original Sonics on it and I wish to God this would have had the box in the case because that would have been incredible. It would have been a great score and it still is. It's a great game. Um, and again, like I said, I have the cases to replace it. I have, I can print out the artwork, but it's just, it's not the same, you know? Um, but overall this is a great game. So I'm like super excited to play it. Um, the disc looks good to be honest with you. So it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but let's see. We do have one last game, and it is honestly a GameCube game, and it's a GameCube case, which is good. Um, but you know, we just talked about that. So, last game. This is empty. I know by the back. This is a Dragon Ball Z game. I am excited about that. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. Vegeta's my boy. This is a pre-owned. Looks like from GameStop card. Let's see what we got. And it is definitely a GameStop game. But Dragon Ball Z Budokan. Uh, Budokai, sorry, this is a fighting game. Yeah, dude, this is a fighting game from back in the day. Uh, let's see if it's complete. I doubt it. Yep, I doubted it. Um, it is not complete, but again, at least it's got the case. Um, the game itself looks pretty good, in pretty good shape. So uh, they probably, they definitely, re they definitely cleaned it because look, there's like all this shit all over it. What that means is they went and resurfaced it. Uh, a little bit of rubbing alcohol will take that off, so it's not too bad. Um, but no, no case. I, I know insert game guide. I can probably get one. These are a pain in the ass to take off, but uh, I can get it off. But still a great game. It's not a player's choice, which is even better. Um, yo, all right. So, you know, overall, I don't know. I might give one more month for GameCube. We'll see. Um, you know, overall, we, I mean, we've got 10 games. Again, I didn't get a one up, but that's fine. Uh, and we got some quality. We got some great games, to be honest with you, in this. Um, in this, the only problem I have is if it wasn't for the quality issue, 
Um, this, this box honestly would have been great. Uh, actually, really, really great. There's some games in here that I'm super excited to play uh, because I had never played them, such as Tiny Toons and uh, the Scooby-Doo one up here. I'm excited to just give it a shot. Even Toy Story, I'm excited to play uh, since I have never played it before. But uh, the fact that the Torox is a little beat up, the back of the Cruising USA is all messed up, the poor Echo took a beat and looks like someone decided to go nuts with it. And there's not a case for the Sonic, which I'm super disappointed for. Uh, it hurts a little bit. Um, I'm still going to get this box. I really enjoy it. I really do. It, as much as I complained about this one, um, this has kind of so far been like a one-off when it comes to like more bad than good. Uh, but uh, the game quality, games I'm excited to play out of this. Uh, probably my top three out of this, Dragon Ball Z for sure. I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. The Sega uh, Sonic Collection, I'm super excited for. And the Spider-Man and X-Men Arcade, uh, I am ultra pumped to play even though it is an LGN game. Um, but, uh, if you like what you saw, please, you know, remember to, uh, comment down below again, you know, which is your favorite Marvel character. Um, also don't forget to click on that, uh, click on that thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. Let me, to let you know whenever I upload new videos, uh, I will be moving soon shortly. So I will be, uh, I might be off more than a week before between videos, but where I am moving, it's higher and easier to go with retro game hunting. So I'm pretty excited to make, start making those videos. Um, but again, thank you guys very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate your time. Uh, you tell to watch this video. And uh, until next time, stay retro guys. Take it easy.